<laughs> Whenever Neil calls NASA, uh, the, the message is, I'm your father. <laughs> so. <laughs>What is the main difference between NASA and SpaceX in terms of what they would like to achieve in space exploration in the near and far future? And uh, let me add to that, what is the chief purpose of NASA or what is NASA's mission statement? Uh, well, I should be able to quote NASA's, NASA's mission statement from memory, but I, but I can't. But it's basically to understand our world, our solar system, our universe and to use technology to move humans beyond Earth. That, that is really, if you want to sum it up, that's NASA's mission, exploration, knowledge. Uh, cool. So SpaceX cool is a contractor to NASA. NASA has lots of, of industry partners. SpaceX is one of them. They launch cargo up to the International Space Station. Starting next year, they'll launch crew up to the International Space Station from Florida. Um, so they're one of many contractors. Now, obviously, SpaceX has obviously stated that they want to see humans on Mars. NASA wants to see humans on Mars. So our goals are actually really aligned. And we have a partnership with SpaceX to help them land one of their Dragon capsules on Mars. Uh, and I'm excited because they've done a lot of work on entry, descent, and landing that will hopefully make it able for us to land humans sooner. You said Mars. earlier that uh, one of the challenges is that Mars has a thin atmosphere. Could you detail why that's more of a challenge to EDL, entry, that's descent, right. land, than on Earth? Uh, our atmosphere is much denser. So if people haven't seen, there's a great video that uh, JPL put together before the Curiosity the rover, the, the before the Curiosity rover landed, called Seven Minutes of Terror," and it basically takes seven minutes when you're coming in from a trajectory from Earth to get from the top of the atmosphere to the surface. So you have to slow yourself way, 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 way down. You've got good speed to get there. Yep. Now you got to eat up that speed somehow. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and to absorb that speed coming, the atmosphere is just not helping you very much. But mm -hmm. it's heating you up, which is bad. So you've got to find some way to slow yourself down. So Curiosity weighed one metric ton, and we used a combination of on uh, Earth. <laughs> <laughs> on Earth, <laughs> unless that's the mass. <laughs> was it a mass of yeah. uh, of a thousand kilograms? Yeah. yeah. So we used. A, heat shield, parachutes, this bizarre thing called a sky crane to land it on the surface. We estimate for hum humans you're going to need 20 to 40 metric tons landed on the surface. Um, and the more you can bunch that into single landings, the cheaper it is. So there's, there's issues with that. So how are you going to slow yourself coming down? You're going to have to use something called supersonic retro propulsion. Which basically it means like it, hurts. Yeah. It, it, it does because you're firing retro rockets while you're going at supersonic speeds, which causes all kinds of turbulence. Everything you're shooting out the back comes back at your spacecraft at supersonic speeds. So it's a crazy thing. SpaceX has actually been working on it. Oh, that's uh, right. So, so if you're moving supersonically and you try to put retro exhaust in front of you. You overtake the exhaust. <laughs> right. yeah. Exactly. That's so wild. Yeah, yeah, that's wild. Yeah, so wild. it's complicated, to, mm. to say the least. So you can't we just roll down have the window and stick your hands out to slow down. <laughs> no, no. So, it, and it's not that it's an insurmountable, oh my gosh, we can't ever send humans to Mars, it's too hard. And, and it frustrates me sometimes, I'll see commentary of saying, oh, we just need to stick at the moon. Mars is too hard. Mars is not too hard, we can figure it out. Yeah, yeah. just any engineer would froth at the mouth to have the opportunity to exactly. solve these problems. Exactly, and again, when you solve tough problems like that, you're, you're stretching technology, you're stretching computational skills. You're patenting. You're, you're patenting inventing, stuff. Yeah. You're, you're spinning off stuff into our economy right here on Earth.